there are plenty of ways to make millions of coins in Skyblock, but most are either unreliable or, if I mention them, they'll stop working. So to respect those with their own methods, today I'll be showing some of the best ways to earn coins in Skyblock that are both reliable and consistent. No auction house, no bazaar, no matter what, these methods will work tomorrow, next week, next month, and next year. If you could help me out, these videos take a long time to make, and subscribing would be the best thing you can do. I'm very close to 20,000 subscribers and could get there in mere days with your help now. Let's get you all rich. Whether you are a new player in Lapis Armor or you've been playing for months and have strong Dragon Armor, even superior Dragon Armor, Shadow Assassin, whatever it is, whatever stage you are in the game, this video aims to help you out and help you make some coins passively and actively. So you can get a lot of coins right now and even more coins in the future. So the first thing, of course, I have to mention is minions. So let's go talk about minions real quick. I'll make it short. Now, to make things easy, obviously, you want to get as many minion slots as possible, and there's two ways to do that. The first way is by upgrading your current minions and crafting unique minions. The more unique minions you unlock, the more minion slots you'll actually have. The second way is over here in the community center. If you go to account and profile upgrades, you can actually upgrade the amount of minion slots you have, and it's, of course, absolutely free. It does take several weeks on end though to, in order to get some of the later slots, but nonetheless it is a way to upgrade your minions, and obviously more minions means more money. Now here's the best ideal setup for minions. Now obviously you can have your snow minion tier 11, your super compactor 3000, the diamond spreading upgrade which gives it diamonds occasionally, and your enchanted lava bucket or the magma bucket or the final tier if you can afford those, but I mean enchanted lava bucket's perfectly fine, no real reason to get the other ones unless you're extremely rich. And just place as many snow minions down as you can. These make an absolute ton of money every single day, and I'll show you how much they've made me in the last couple days I've left them alone. Now for those of you who aren't that rich, just go ahead and look in your gold collection, and you'll see gold minion. I would try and get a tier 5 gold minion, it's fairly cheap, and place these down along with a medium or small storage. And make sure they have a compactor, and if you can get it diamond spreading as well. This will make it so it makes uh, gold blocks and diamond blocks. This will mean you can uh, sell them to the bazaar, since if we look at the bazaar, gold prices are actually extremely high right now, and they've been they've been hovering around this price for actually quite a while. It's not just because of the mythological event. Gold has been hanging around this price for a while. So if you aren't that rich, use gold minions. If you are rich, use snow minions. Let's see how much my snow minions have made me in the last couple days. Oh my gosh, look at that. So we made a little over 8.7 million coins from those minions. That is not at all what I expected. I left these guys for several days, so uh, obviously they're not going to make 8.7 million every single day, but I figured I'd show you guys how much. And also look at that, it leveled up our dragon pet quite a bit. He hit level 99, which is absolutely crazy. So there's minions for you, the best way to passively make money while you're offline in Skyblock. Now let's move on to some active methods. Now of course obviously one way is just to sit here and farm zealots for hours on end for summoning eyes and sell them to the bazaar, but that's boring, no one wants to do that, but you can if you want to. Another great method is building yourself a big farm. Pick your favorite crop and get to work. My personal favorite are sugarcane and carrot. If you're looking to build a carrot farm, I have a great video on how to build one. But basically, you want to make this 8 blocks long and go all the way down your island with water that's 2 blocks deep on each side. This is so you can fly on your island, and if I take my spider boots off, you'll be able to see that. And you can just kind of farm here with a hoe. And if you use the replenish enchantment, then it'll actually put all of the crops back for you. Make sure your farm is well lit. A good farm can make several million coins every single hour, which is really, really great for pretty much anyone. This one may require you to be a bit further in the game than most of these other ones, but it's to play dungeons. You can even just play 4-1 for this trick, but basically in dungeons you can get these secret chests. And inside the chest you can get items like a healing potion. And the healing potions just instantly sell to an NPC for 22, 24, 25,000 coins. And overall dungeons has been a pretty decent way for people to get money since you can purchase the 
loot that you get at the end of dungeon rewards. And if you get a rare chest that has some rare loot in it, you can sell it on the auction house pack for a lot more than you paid. Since obviously people are willing to spend more money on the auction house than they are willing to grind out items themselves. So if you're looking for a good way to make money while also leveling up your combat skill, but have slightly better gear than most average players, check out dungeons and see if you can make some profit off of that. Another great method is going over here into the account and profile upgrades and getting yourself the coin allowance. You get a free up to 50,000 coins a day from just logging into Skyblock. And of course these upgrades take a while so I would recommend you do it after minion slots. And I mean, you know, 100,000 coins or 50,000 coins a day doesn't seem like too much but I mean it's free coins so like you might as well take it since all of the little things do add up. So it's important to take each care into each of these different methods and make sure you can get all of them working together so you can make as much money as possible. Another great way is by leeching dragons, and this totally wasn't unplanned or anything, so uh... Alright, let's do that. Let's swap to the livid dagger because why not? Alright, let's get him. Attack him from the back, attack him from the back. Get him good. 17 mil damage. And an old chest plate. Alright, don't actually place your own eyes when fighting dragons, but if you run around to different hubs, you can actually find dragons to leech off of, so that works, you know? Now, the real reason I was in the end was to talk about the active money-making method pearl spamming. Now, if you don't know what this is, um, you play Skyblock more. And if you do know what this is, obviously here's the best way to do it. Fill your inventory with ender pearls. Make sure you don't have your combat sack or your personal compactor on you, otherwise it'll, uh, combine them and you won't have any ender pearls in your inventory. Get a Raider's Axe or a Daedalus Axe and get either Scavenger 4 or Scavenger 5 as the enchant. If you can, use a Hound Pet, you'll make more money. However, alternatively, you can go for a Maximum Magic Find build. You can drink one of these God Potions, you can buy them off the auction house for about 300,000 coins to get all positive effects including Combat XP, Magic Find, and Pet Luck. And if you use the Booster Cookie buff, which you can buy for about 800,000 coins, then you won't lose any of these potions or any coins on death. So in order to do this properly by yourself, you will no matter what need the cookie buff. Optionally, you can use god potions. Then find a big flat open area like this and just throw ender pearls. The ender pearls will land back on top of you, spawning endermen at your feet. You'll see that, okay, well I had remnants on me, so I'll rip those remnants. But since I have the cookie buff active, I'm not losing any of my active potion effects or I'm not losing any coins. So now once we see all of the endermen, as soon as I'm done throwing these pearls, Watch how much money I get from just a couple seconds of doing this. So once once I stop dying here, we can do this. And I made a couple thousand coins right there just from doing that. Now if you do this for an hour or so, you'll make several hundred thousand coins every single hour for basically no effort. This works with any skill level, any, any kind of thing at all. You'll also be getting combat experience, which is really nice for leveling up things like your combat pet or any other pet, but it'll be a much slower. So I highly recommend pearl spamming since you can also get the chance at a legendary enderman pet. It's super rare, but again, you might get it. And that's like 30 million coins. So 10 out of 10 recommend pearl spamming. The next one is by participating in these special events, the spooky festival, the season of Jerry, Diana's mythical ritual, and the mining event, as well as the fishing event. If you ever see one of these as active, just go ahead and do the event, whatever it is. Either get some spooky candies, get some presents from Jerry, fish up some shark teeth, mine some minerals, or dig up some ancient claws and griffin feathers. All of these are fantastic ways of making money, since the events are usually exclusive, meaning you can get a lot of profit from them. A lot of people have different guides, including myself, on how to do all of these events to the best of their ability, so if you have any questions about each of these individual events, look through my channel and see if you can find a guide for how to do them properly. Now here's some last minute tips from just a person who's been playing Skyblock for well over a year. The further you get in the game, the easier it is to get money. If you check it out right now, I have about 10 million coins, and as you saw, I got pretty much all of those from just my snow minions. And I've unlocked my snow minions from just playing the game, selling different items I've gotten, earning different items, and just stocking up on all of the different passive money-making methods and active money-making methods I've been able to find. So while it seems like you could have a really, really slow start in this game, as soon as you're able to break past the first barrier of learning how to grind and putting in the time, this game will become a lot easier. If you are brand new, I'm talking logged into the server 15 minutes ago, instead of asking people for money to get you started, try punching some wheat, just like this guy is doing. Mad respect for this guy over here. If you get the rookie hoe, and I'll show you how to buy that, it's over here at the farm merchant. If you purchase a rookie hoe and enchant it with harvesting five and telekinesis, you can just sit here and punch wheat, 
and every time you fill up your inventory, you can sell all of the wheat for about 5,000 coins. You can add this up to well over 100,000 coins every single hour. And if you're looking at some items you want to purchase, 100,000 coins in an hour is a huge amount for a brand new player. So if you're looking to purchase your first hardened diamond set, get your grappling hook, start out by punching wheat. And also, you can look over in the different shops, and a great example is buying ice. Since if you buy ice, specifically packed ice, and resell it to the bazaar, uh, since ice is worth way more in the bazaar than it is in the actual builder merchant, and that will always be the case because ice is really, really useful, you can make like 20,000 coins every single day. Which again, that's just free passive money you can do in your loop once you're in the hub. But again, that's really all I have for today, so just stick with it, and the further you get in the game, the easier it will be to get money. So thank you all so much for watching for today's video, and if you enjoyed, again, I ask you, do hit that like button. If you found some of these useful, consider subscribing to my channel, because I do post a lot of Skyblock guides for you all. And that'll just be about it, so thanks once again, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care.